everyone. It's good to have you with us once again, this time for the Division 1 Cup Final between Silvertown and AC Milano. Milano already the champions of Division 1. They're one game away from a perfect 14 wins out of 14. Conveniently, that game happens to be against Silvertown, which will be played during the course of the week. Our attention firmly today, though, is in is on this Division One Cup final at Avely FC. Silvertown know if they win that game in the league, they will finish third, overtaking St Augustine's. They were the top two these teams in the group stages, and then the semi-finals. Silvertown won two-one against Barking and Dagenham Wanderers. Milano winning 3-1 against Barking Riverside. And it'll be Milano to kick us off in this first half. Our referee, James Aloui, going through his last few checks. Quite a decent attendance as well. As Milano get us underway. Milano moving forward on this left hand side. Sand with a long ball for Bookus to go chase, and he's tried a looping effort. Simple one for Bullman in goal. There's spectators all around the pitch today. Behind our position here. This shot comes in from distance, not going to trouble Afzal in goal. Ooh. Gets the ball, thank goodness he does. It was a two footer there. Oh, and this has fallen quite kindly. Dragged his effort in the end. Bullman to send this one high in towards the penalty area, and it's met there as well. Just for a moment, Afsal had to quickly scramble. It's resulting in corner now for Silvertown. Oh, rising quite nicely as well. Just over the bar. But aren't they quite keen to try and play out from the back? And they're just trying to find that final through ball. Silvertown have found it now, but there is Afsal to come gather. Here is Kankara. Really nice run this from Kankara. And he gets the shot away as well. That was nearly a really, really nice goal. Advantage being played, but it's going to be pulled back once again. And I think we might be seeing the yellow card be distributed here. Aaron Brown has stayed down. There is that free kick for Milano. Oh, and it's dying to be tapped in. Sambu arrived and Sambu delivered. He got there at the first attempt and he knocked it home at the second. Not great defending by Silvertown. He was all alone in there, Josh Sambu. Good save initially from Brandon Bullman. But it was a simple tap in. Can have a look again. Got there at the first one and he had all the time in the world. All Silvertown, one or two complaining for offside. Delivery. Really should be 1-1. One, one. Sambu, the goal scorer. Looks like he's got so much time on board by Sambu. Here is Brown. And that heads his effort over. Yeah. 
So there is half time. Really entertaining first half. Player of the match so far has to be George Sambu. Dictating things in the middle of the pitch, getting himself on the score sheet as well. He, he's a player that looks like he's got a lot more time on the ball than the others. Silvertown know they've got it all to do in this second half. Definitely not writing them off by any means. They could certainly work their way back level. It's only a one goal deficit. And they've had one or two moments in that first half. This could be a thrilling second. There with the call, but play resumes. That was going to trickle behind for the Silverton corner. It caused a, th a few problems from set pieces today, have Silverton. They've caused another problem here, and it's. Knocked in by Stitchbury. And inside the first five minutes of this second half. Silvertown won, Milano won. And you can see the emotion really from that goal. They have a feeling they were causing a few problems. Afzal came, he has to come and get their better Afzal. A simple header home in the end for Joel Stitchbury. Milano looking to respond instantly. Well, it's going to be a free kick for Milano. This is a promising position here. He'll be whipped in with the left foot. Oh, and it's yeah. deflated in. Yeah. Tried to flick it away at the near post and just diverted it past Brandon Bullman. Hey, number 22. Hey, 22. And Silvertown's equaliser soon taken away inside two, three minutes. I mean, it was a decent delivery, but just could not make the contact and he needed to divert it away. And there is Ballyu, good interception out for a corner. He's hurt himself from the actual challenge as well. That's going to be the end of Bradley Bower's day. Good to see him back to his feet though. Delivery. Oh, free header. It's Aaron Brown. To tuck it away from close range. There's someone down inside the penalty area. Muted celebrations. I think they're going to need some treatment there, but what a finish in the end there by Aaron Brown. I think we're more cause for concern with what's happening in the six yard box. We can have a look again. Really, really nice header just peeling off the back of the, the center half. And a really, really nice header. It's a silver town. Moving forward once again. Axel can claim that easily. It's going to have to be one almighty comeback now for those in red and black. Step piece is just causing so many problems today, set pieces. This one pushed in towards the penalty area and Bowman didn't get there. Offside was called. Hey, what's the right? Watch it. 
to say, a nice bit of play there by Silvertown, but Milano intervened. It's getting a little bit scrappy now with only five minutes or so to play. Morning towards the penalty area. And arriving there to knock it in is Chris Wright. And now then, we're back to only one goal. And the Milano nerves start to increase. The Silvertown hopefuls. I mean, that was a really, really nice bit of composure to put the ball back across. Simple tapping in the end for Chris Wright. And this is going to be a thrilling last few moments. And Brown is in behind. He's got round Bullman. And he just can't quite find it in towards Ballyu. That shot comes in in the end and that's gone over the bar. Feel the nerves in this stadium at the moment. Aaron Brown once again. Here is Brown. He's got him behind now. They're queuing up to tap it in. That should be game set match. 98th minute now. Bullman is up for this corner. This could be one last throw of the dice for those in red and black. Drilled in towards the penalty area. Afsel tries to come and claim. They hook it away. And that's out for a Milano throw on. That's surely got to be game. And it is. There is full time. AC Milano are your Division One Cup champions. What a nervy game that was. Thoroughly entertaining though. Those really set pieces that done it on the day. Beginning a really, really good attendance down at this game today for this Division One Cup final. With the trophy celebrations to take place in just a moment. League and Cup double for AC Milano. What a season it has been for them. They had to fight hard, didn't they? <laughs> to win it today. 1 0, 3 1, eventually 3 2. And let's keep that round of applause going for our match officials this evening, led by the referee, Mr. James Away. James Away and his team. Collecting their medals then. Did feel they did a good job keeping the game flowing as much as possible. Jackie Silvertown then to collect their runners up medals. They finished top of the group stages. They only lost one game in the group stages, winning six of them. That led them to a tie against Barking and Dagenham Wanderers, who finished fourth. A 2 1 victory against them. Came into this one as the underdogs. Just fall short. They could maybe fight for redemption with their final league game of the season against Milano. Hindered the Milano party slightly if they. Avoid defeat, ruining their perfect. There is Bradley Bowers. Absolutely everything today, didn't he? And 
Sanders collecting his medal. Shane Wallace as well. And pick up their winners' medals. down the TIFO. <laughs> the league and cup double. What a season it has been for AC Milano. Thirteen wins out of thirteen wins so far. You beat Silvertown, it's a perfect fourteen. Avoid defeat. And it's an invincible league campaign. You certainly have done already. Is win the division one cup. An own goal, a goal from George Sambu, who was my man of the match today really dictated things didn't he the number seven and Aaron Brown with a really really nice header there he is collecting his winner's medal just having killed off of the back of the defender heading it over nicely they finished second in the group stages didn't they actually leaving them to face Barking Riverside winning 3-1 Winning 3 2 today. Just before they lift up the trophy and the celebrations will go long into the evening, I do want to thank you for joining me and joining all of us watching all of these cup finals. All of these cup finals are provided by WD Sports. It's been thoroughly entertaining sharing all of these with you. I've seen some incredible goals, some incredibly tight matches. This one really does spring to mind when you consider how tight of a game it was. What a campaign it has been for AC Milano. The perfect four league champions, Division One Cup champions, Corinthian Cup champions, and London Sunday Trophy champions. The quadruple for AC Milano. Of course, our attention today has been on the Division One Cup final. They've done the quadruple. And they are your Division One Cup champions. It's AC Milano. celebrations continue again thank you for joining us for all of these cup finals across April May and into June it's been thoroughly entertaining to watch these with you I've got Lewis Anderson coverage of all of these from WD Sports all the celebrations to continue with your Division 1 league winners as well as I do thank you for joining us for all of these bye bye for now